Depending on who you talk to, the population of Kabul starts at 3 million and grows from there. As the nation's capital, Kabul is often described as the basis for Afghanistan's future. As Kabul goes, so goes Afghanistan. Absolutely true. As the police go in Kabul, so goes Kabul, so goes Afghanistan. The police force in Kabul numbers around 14,000. They operate in a wide range of functions, with the majority on the streets, maintaining city security at one of multiple strategically placed checkpoints, what the Afghans call rings of steel. Colonel John Graham, West Point professor and police advisor, says in his opinion, how the future unfolds is up to the police. The future of every society is with the police. Why? The police know where the, where the bad guys live. The, bad, the police know where the criminals are. The police know uh, basically how to establish security in their particular neighborhoods. It's where they live. Graham says challenges still exist, primarily corruption and the need for increased professionalism. But overall, the growth of the police, especially here in Kabul, is significant. It'd probably be some years, maybe 10, 15 years, before they equal anything like the NYPD. But I would put them on par with the police in Tehran. I'd put them on par with the police in any of the countries that currently ring Afghanistan. In many cases, they actually are better. Kabul has appointed a female police chief. The city's first responders are known as quick and effective. Security for all of its citizens is within reach.